Hey YouTube, today I have a review of a Kukuri. This is straight from Nepal. This is a, a 25 inch Kukuri. And in America, a Kukuri is sometimes called uh, just a Kukri. Alright, and this is, uh, let me give you a closer look. It's, it's pretty incredible. There, you see the finish on that. It once you polish it, it reflects light. It reflects light like water. You see that there? Beautiful, just a beautiful piece. Extremely sharp. It is one half inch thick. The entire kukri weighs two and one half pounds. The length of the length of the edge is 20 inches and then the overall length of the kukri is 25 inches. Let me show you a close up of the wooden handle. That is a brass bolster. Very nice once it's polished. And then there's there's a brass brass pommel there. And when I get something like this, I like to cut something with it. All right, so uh, let me roll in some footage of me just, uh, well, you'll see what I cut. All right, YouTube, and as you see, you know, this thing just sliced through the water jug with, with zero effort. Um, it, is, it is razor sharp. The, the edge is finished by hand in Nepal. And with two and a half pounds of weight on the swing, uh, there's no doubt that, that this could, uh, it could cut off the leg, the arm, the head of a person. In Nepal, they actually have a religious ritual where they use a large kukuri to actually cut the head off of a water buffalo. And now, a water buffalo is, is a huge, it's a huge animal, okay? I mean, it's cattle. And they cut the head off a water buffalo with one single, one single chop from the kukri, alright, or kukuri. Now, if you want to see a size comparison with uh, you know, a more, a smaller kukuri that is more, uh, in America we have smaller ones like this that are sold by Ontario and Cold Steel. Alright. And the size comparison. <laughs> you see, see how much bigger uh, this is. This is truly, truly like a sword. And it comes, uh, it comes covered in shipping grease because this is high carbon steel. Okay, so if it's not greased, it will rust. But once I clean the grease off, you can see that. You want to see if it it can reflect. Uh, you know, you I can see my camera in the reflection. It reflects like water. Beautiful. Now the price on this kukuri. It was uh, $195, and it is just, it is just gorgeous and fully functional, fully functional. The shape of the uh, kukuri, it tends to funnel the tissue of the target towards uh, this part right here, which is kind of the, the part that, uh, you know, kind of funnels the head or the limb of the, <laughs> the zombie right to there and uh it, it's game over i mean that is uh that will just shear a, a, a person completely in half now this is the traditional sheath you see it has brass right there leather sheath the belt loop right here and it comes with these two implements also come with your kukuri all right now, what are these implements? Well, this one is a small utility blade. It's a small utility blade. Very cool. This one 
is actually a resharpening tool. It's it's not a knife. It's it's not it doesn't have an edge. It's actually it's actually a kind of a Nepalese version of a sharpening stone. It's to touch up or repair the edge like get down a if you get like a nick in the edge. All right, so it's a maintenance tool. All right, so those come with your kukuri. Hold on. And those fit right in the sheath right there. All right, so very very cool you get those with it. All right, you two. So overall, this is the first uh Nepalese, you know, le legitimately made in Nepal, authentic kukuri that I've ever had. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with Himalayan Imports. That's the um, the website which I purchased it at. And if you were thinking of getting one of these, well, you can judge for yourself whether you want to own one of these. I think it's a beautiful piece, and it is it is fully functional. All right. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I am out of here.